In this R Suite review, I'm going to be sharing you everything you need to know about this all-in-one white label portal tool for your clients. R Suite allows you to share reports, presentations, and everything else in an easy to use portal that your clients will love. They've designed this tool to help you spend less time on customer support and help you centralize and communicate better with all of your clients. You can easily integrate minimalistic designs into each client's portal, showcasing all different sorts of information like Canva designs, Google Analytics, or anything. If you can embed it, you can pull it into our suite. If you want to check out this tool, I'll leave a link in the description below, which will also provide you with any discounts they're currently running. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below and I tend to reply within a couple of minutes to a few hours. And if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and tap the like button and follow this account. Let's jump in to the first thing that you're going to see, which is your admin dashboard. So if we take a moment and just break down what's actually here, we have a snapshot of all of our clients. We then have another snapshot of all the tasks. We have our profile area, which actually guides us through what we need to set up first. And then we have our resource area. Now, the first thing I would recommend for you to do is go ahead and click on the learning center. And this will take you to all the useful resources and guides in text-based format. If you're more of a video sort of person, if you click on tutorials, they've created and broken down every single feature our suite has to offer in a short, compact, but straight to the point video, each one ranging from six minutes to just under a minute. And I've actually watched the bulk some of these because it takes no time at all and you'll be up and running in no time. So the first thing that we want to do is head over to edit profile and we just want to make sure all of our information is filled out and make sure you don't miss the links at the top where you can make it so your profile is either public and you're able to be found by other R Suite users or if you just want to make it private. This is what your public profile will look like and then you can upload your own profile, fill out some of the basic information add your social links and all your other details. And if you want to set up a custom domain, you can do just by filling out this area here. A detailed setup is like this and they show step-by-step -step instructions on how to do just that. As you complete your profile, this little percentage bar will tell you where you're up to. So if you've missed any fields out, you'll know. In the bottom right hand corner, you also have a chat pop-up where you can directly communicate with them and their typical response is within a couple of hours, but often they'll probably reply in shorter time. And I think that's really important when you're using a tool, you want quick access to support. In the top right hand corner, we actually have our profile and this is where you can create sub accounts, see all of your clients, templates, and also sort out integrations as well. We're gonna discuss these later on in the video. Let's go ahead and click here. And now we're going to add our first client. Now it's going to give you the option if you want to add an individual or a business. Let's start off with a business. We're going to type in some basic information about the business. And then it's going to give you an option if you want to add a client to this business. So we're going to say yes. And now that we have all of those details in, we can even send a request for our suite to send an email notifying them that they've been added to the portal. So I'm going to select this and do save. This will then redirect us straight to the admin side of this specific customer portal. But first, if we head over to my email, you can see we have a welcome email with an invite login and the password. So if we copy this link, open up Firefox and then paste in the link, enter that account details. And now this is the portal area that the client will see. They can see your contact details and then their business and the contact that's involved with their business. They can also change the theme. Let's go ahead and make it darker just to distinguish between our admin side and the client portal. They can also hide the sidebar if they wish. If they want to add another user to their account, they will select user, just fill out their information and do add. If we go back to our dashboard, refresh, and then go into client details, you can see this person has now been added to our admin as well. And then we can actually edit this the way we want to. You can also send them a special invite link where they can manually reset their password as well, just by sharing this link. So we have a few options here. In the client portal, this is where we actually add options and things that they can click on. We're going to go ahead and start off with view. This in front of us is what we call a view. When we click on business settings, this is also a view. It's basically like a dashboard or a menu item or a page that they can 
click on and see different information. So if the first one is going to be, let's say, welcome, and then we do save. Now in this section, we can embed whatever we want, add categories, save this design as a template, enter into draft mode so the client doesn't see things, add text or even questions. This is the area we'll do it in. Right here, I have a Canva presentation. So I'll just go to share, go to embed, and then I'll copy the embed code. I'll then paste the embed code in. And now we have the Canva design in the dashboard. We can also edit this text here if we wanted to. Now with every change that you make, it will save unless you're in draft mode and then it won't. And just see what this looks like. So now if we refresh, we have a new tab here that says welcome. And now the client can see this presentation. Let's say we wanted to create another dashboard where we can ask them questions. So we'll just click view and then add the questions, save, go to add questions, enter a question and do save. Let's go ahead and do another question and save. And now if we go back to our portal, refresh the page, we now have another tab saying questions. And if we click on questions here, it says, how are you today? Good. And then do save. If we go back here, we can then do show answers. And it says the client has answered the questions, show answer, and there are the answers for you. That's how we create views. One more thing that you might want to do as well, if you have a default welcome presentation, you can simply do save as template press OK, and then that's now been created. So if we click on view, you'll now see a new option that says welcome, and that's the template that we just saved. And then we do save, refresh, and we've now got the second welcome tab there. But that is ultimately a template. If you want to delete one, just go ahead and click archive and do OK. We can add custom categories to all of this. So let's say we're just going to do presentation and then do create add it this view is in the category presentations and we can filter the presentations or the things that are in the category easily next we're going to cover tasks let's go ahead and create a few tasks we'll say create a website and we're going to do save now inside the task we can add some more information in so we can say step one step one create a mock-up we can add custom labels. So let's say this label is anything to do with websites. Select a color, create. We can also attach files if we wanted to. We can add a checklist. So create mockup, do save, add item, send to client to approve, and then save item. And we can assign it to a client. So we click client and then assign. We can select the due date. I'll talk about the dependency in just a second. If we scroll down, we can add comments onto the task and then it logs every change that's happened with a timestamp for us as well. And this is what it will look like on the bird's eye view of the task. And then when we create a new task, we can use a previous template that we've already created and then we can customize it just so we don't need to redo it all. So for this one, we can say create a website, which is exactly what we want. And then we can assign it to the client, sign another due date. And then for the dependency, we're actually going to select the previous one, which is create a website and then do save. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to amend this. So once the client's approved, we're then going to want to develop the code. And then we want to send to client for approval again. But this task won't actually start until we've completed the previous task because we assigned it to the previous task. And then when it's done, we'll go to the original task and then do mark as done. And now you see this is ready to, this has changed and it's ready to start work. Then when everything's done, it's actually categorized. And if we change the view, you can see it will start populating as an in progress, ready to work on hold, done and pending. You can also filter by labels and anything else. And it will also show in a calendar format, click on a task for that day and see what's going on. Work journals are kind of an in-house thing for your team members where each member or each person working on something can create a little journal of what they've done today. So this journal can be, and then we do save, and then we can just make a log and we can say design of the website, dog, use the dog as a reference, and then do save log. And now your clients won't see this, but other people in your team will. 
for conversations, this is a great centralized area where you can communicate with your clients or other team members without needing to go into your email. So if we go to conversation, follow up, and then do save. Now we're just going to where it says all team, we're going to select it and we're going to say the client and do update. And now we're going to say, hey, did you see the draft I sent? over send and now in my email that message has just been sent to the client so if i reply sorry being mad busy mad busy will check shortly and then do send and if we refresh the message should appear here now unfortunately i think our suite is having some glitches today but i'm pretty sure this is a quick fit and if you start using the software it'll probably be fixed by the time you use the software but the message should appear here and you get the gist, you can have a conversation backwards and forwards where you don't need to log into your emails, but your client can see and receive emails directly from this chat. So it's a lot more conversational and you can attach files and stuff like that. In the file section, you can upload a file, mock up version one, do save, add the actual file, and you can either upload it from a computer or embed it from a URL. We can add a description or even more comments let me know what you think and then it can be downloaded and opened up in a new tab and you can even make it a view so if we go ahead and select make a view and we can also say require client approval so we'll just do yes and then client update and if we head over to our client portal refresh you can see mock-up v1 and there we have it and then in the left corner it can be approved now, the image will actually be bigger. It just depends on the size of the image. This is a bit of a small image because I uploaded a small image. But if we just do approve, confirm, and there we have it, that's been approved. If we go back here and then refresh, you can see it says client approved. We also get a notification that's saying this draft was approved. The password area is cool as well because we can share in private login information. If you run social media accounts or you have lots of external tools that you use that your client needs to log into, this is the perfect place. So we click on password. We're going to name that staging website. We're then going to add a URL. So it can be anything. And then we can say the password is admin and the notes staging website. And then do save. If you forget what the password is, just click on that little icon and you can see it. You can also assign it to your clients and do update and then do save. And there you have it. You now have a link there. Inside your team account, this is where you can add your own in-house team or even create sub accounts. So creating a sub account can be a really good way of giving your team members access to their own portals where they can manage their own clients without all your other teammates seeing which clients they're managing. But if you want them part of your team, you can very simply click or invite by email and then do send invitation. Now you can see we just received an invitation to join the team. We can also add team members to a sub account. And if we want to create a new sub account, we just click create sub account and then fill in this information here. Going back to the dashboard, we can now see our clients. So if we click on this one, we'll see our list of clients here. And then when we go in, we can then start navigating and changing the order of view if we wanted to and overall just create a really bespoke portal that can be easily connected with a lot of our third-party tools to display the information that we want to display a few final things if we click on our profile and head over to integrations we can actually connect our suite to zapier this will actually give us step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the webhooks in zapier and how to connect everything together at the moment you can currently sync up clients names emails and phone numbers but they are looking on enhancing all of this as you can see this article was actually updated a week ago which means that they're pretty active and they're still developing everything as we go if we go back to our profile and click on my templates we can actually delete manage and edit all of the different templates or create custom templates right here. And then they're categorized under view and tasks. So you don't get confused of what the templates are. So the real question is, what do I think of our suite? We're gonna start off with some of the negatives, but then move on to the positives. Some of the negatives are, it's quite confusing between teams when it comes to assigning teams and integrating the sub accounts and stuff like that. I did find it a bit confusing because the crossing paths and selecting different members, etc., wasn't entirely clear to me on the right direction or the right process to do that. I do like the fact that there's not many options, but it's just not clear to me on how 
you actually connect things together. I don't think that's actually a big problem though because that can be pretty simple to do with just a minor update or even a video in more detail and just the main differences between sub accounts and team members and then how all of that actually connects together. Perhaps a video demonstrating the complete setup of that side of things would be really beneficial. But let's move on to some of the things that I actually really like about our suite. I do think they've created a very simplistic portal area that has turned something which is usually very difficult to do into something that's very pleasing on the eye, something that clients will be able to easily navigate and use. And I like the fact that we can create our own custom tabs and our own custom viewpoints and the ability to embed almost any third party tool that allows it directly into the dashboard for our client. Because now having an online business, we actually need lots and lots of tools. So being able to embed everything in one place is always really handy. I think anyone who's looking to better communicate with their client and showcase information in presentation and report sort of way would really benefit from using a tool like our suite. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.